Hi guys, uh, Chris McNeil here. Just wanted to give you a short video on a product that is going to help you explode your drop shipping business. If uh, you're drop shipping between Amazon and eBay, you know that you've got some issues dealing with Amazon stock. You might spend lots of time trying to list uh, appropriate products on eBay that you found on Amazon. Then all of a sudden you get a beautiful cha-ching sound, you rush to your, your computer, try to fulfill the order, and all of a sudden find that the Amazon product is out of stock, or it's doubled in price, or shipping times have gone to three months, or something like that. Anyway, what do you do? You try to back out of the order, you ask the customer to delay, you cancel the order, it's going to hit your eBay reputation, it wastes your time, you, and you've lost a potential profit there. Wouldn't it be great if you could stay on top of these listings and know exactly what's happening all the time and make sure you're always in stock? Well, you can do that. You can uh, watch your listings every day. If you've got a couple dozen, then maybe that's practical. You do it in front of the TV. Uh, you can hire someone to do it. A virtual assistant offshore will probably cost you maybe three or four dollars an hour. If you've got a couple hundred listings, that'll take two or three hours of, of that person's time. Uh, every day, that quickly adds up to three, four, five hundred dollars a month. So it's possible, but getting quite expensive. We have a tool that will solve your problem. It is called the Scraper. All right. So um, it just runs on Excel. Uh, this is an Excel macro. This is what it looks like. It's available for almost every version of Microsoft Windows and almost every version of Microsoft Excel. Mac version is coming. It doesn't work on Mac yet. OpenOffice is coming. It doesn't work on OpenOffice yet. All right, so you've got your listings here. All you need to do is just copy your listing into column D. So every single Amazon URL of a product that you're selling, you copy it into the next available row on column D. You see this error here, that's totally fine to start. You also copy your eBay title. Imagine if you've got hundreds of listings, you need to cross-reference the ones that sell, so you copy your eBay title here. Once that is all ready, you open up this menu here, you press Scrape Amazon. Watch how quickly this goes. I've only got 28 listings here just for demo purposes. It makes two passes. It's done its first pass already. Second pass, it's just whipping right through. We've almost got all 28 sorted. Okay, fantastic. So within, what was that, about 15 seconds? We've got 28 products that have been scanned. What has uh, the scraper found for us? Well, it's found the Amazon product title, it's found the Amazon price, it's found whether or not free shipping is involved. Look at this guy, $34.99, so free shipping is not available. We're missing it just by one penny. Whether or not the product is in stock, in this case, they all are. This one here tells us that it's going to ship between three and five business days. So I can put that into my eBay listing and just advise customers that this product will take a little longer to ship than the rest of my items. Now, we also have a listing here of the products that ship from Amazon. That is terrific. But maybe these products here, maybe I don't know these vendors. Maybe they do ship instantly, maybe they don't. N never know. So that can be just a judgment call, and you can decide whether you continue to list those items or not. We also have a breakdown. So you see your PayPal and eBay fees, your taxes, currency fees, and profit margin, and so on. Those are all broken down here, and it shows very, very clearly what my net profits are on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, this is the first scrape that I've done of these URLs, so it doesn't have any previous history, but if I did this scrape later this afternoon or tomorrow, then it will show the previous Amazon price and let me know which items have changed in price or availability. It'll flag in orange the entire row, it'll give me the absolute price change, and it'll give me a percentage price change as well. This also works for the UK, folk. I've got a couple dozen URLs up. I'm going to scrape Amazon. Same thing. Look how quickly this is going. First pass, and then it's going to take a second pass just to identify any messages, any issues at all. Um, this will depend, the speed of it will depend on the speed of your computer, whether or not you've got other applications running, the speed of your internet connection. But I'm kind of on a mid-range computer, mid-range internet connection, and look at that. Within seconds, it's done. I can't even describe to you what it's done by the time it actually gets done. Um, 
so again, same thing, product title, Amazon price, and stock availability. Look, if these guys were my hot selling items, then I would have to watch them like a hawk and pull my eBay listings before they actually sell out like this guy has right here. Okay, so guys, I hope this is useful. Um, there's lots more in the training. We explain more about the eBay fees, the taxes, currency fees, that sort of thing. We explain more about how to use the tool. Uh, it's a retail price of $67. Thanks very much, guys. Happy scraping.